Good morning, Orlando Gardner coming at you. Let's walk past this moringa that I have drying. Got it hanging and drying so I can make moringa tea, make powder, and make moringa capsules. Giving y'all a little view of the yard. Nothing special right now. Nothing special. But we do have a reason for the video. And that is my ugly Graham mango tree. As you all know, the cold hit it last year when we got down in those 20s. 20 something degrees and the cold hit it and it came back it came back I had to prop it up came back a few spots that went bad and but it's just sprawly I mean if y'all look from this end it's just sprawly look at that it's just sprawly and here it's just sprawly Kind of like another variety. I'm going to give y'all a few different angles. So that you can see. And really get an understanding of what I'm saying. Now I'm not going to trim it just yet. And the reason why I'm not going to trim it. Is because I don't want new growth to start. And we getting ready to get into the heart of winter. And that will be the first stuff to die off. So I don't want that. But um... I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to leave them on there and maybe possibly I might get some fruit this year. But I just wanted to do a video and show y'all how sprawly and crazy looking <laughs> this tree is now. I'm going to pan to my left and you're going to see how some of these limbs are kind of all over the place. Kind of like hanging out. It's like all of a sudden they they got real happy and start growing out in that direction. <laughs> now, the tree on this side stayed kind of uniform, kind of like uh, what the whole tree was. But this side, I don't know what happened with this side. We got these branches, they came from nowhere. And if you look from kind of from inside the tree looking out this angle, these limbs they just they came out and I mean they came out a few feet and I, I just call it my ugly gram <laughs> mango tree for now hopefully this ugly gram mango tree look at it that grew out that grew out at least three feet hopefully this same mango tree will have me uh, you know about 50 or 60 fruit on it but just want to share this. Now this side is still pretty uniform. Um, up onto this side as well. Uh, it grew a little bit over there. But uh, out here, it's just, ain't that funny? And I do have a graph that I put on here. And uh, that's a tarlay graph. You see the graph took, took and started growing. So out of this one little spot here be Tarley coming out. Uh, I was just experimenting with a little bit of everything, but just wanted to share this with you all. Show you how sprawly this thing is. I mean, these limbs just, they jumped out. Okay, let's get from this angle here. What I did, I kind of stepped in, and I'm showing you just what this limb looks like coming out <laughs> ain't that unique and, it, and this one as well let me back up this one as well and uh, this thing was loaded with pentacles last year and that that 20 degree weather came in and it wiped I mean it wiped it out you know it knocked my Malika back but the Malika came back pretty strong and uh, my, um, 
I think that's Venus. I think the sunset is out there in the field. But that one came back, and they both came back above the graph. So now that Pickering didn't, so that's rootstock there coming up, and I'm just going to graft onto it. Instead of digging it up, I'm just letting it grow on up, and I'm going to do what I need to do right there. But the, the juicy peach is doing good. Uh, but the topic is this Graham mango tree. Y'all have a good one. Have a happy Thanksgiving.